Low, I'm Artifacts Mars, and take a look at this. This is a report by Good Morning America. Now, I'm only going to show you some selected frames for copyright pur purposes. But take a look very carefully. This is a uh, flash, a purported flash. And August 7th, 2023, time 22.47, that's 10.47 at night, 46. Okay? So, what we're going to do is we're going to go frame by frame. So I got something to show you. You might not like it, but you're going to watch it anyway. Okay. So we're going to go frame by frame. I'm uh, 58 seconds in, into the video. And the people on the Good Morning America were talking about Flash, which they claim might be power lines. So we'll take a look at a couple, so we'll take a look at a couple of things here before we go any further. Notice we have uh, these bushes, I don't know what they are. And it looks like there's either some kind of fence or and a mailbox. And there's substantial lighting coming from our left. Now watch this. I'm going to advance frame by frame until we get to the good part. You see a sudden shift of lighting coming from your left. So something brightened up, I don't know what. Now, take a look up where the cursor is. There's a light source and it's clearly well above uh, the ground. It's just a little bitty dot right now. But watch this. See, Good Morning America is claiming that these, this is from power lines. And power lines don't go through the woods. For obvious reasons. Trees would be falling on them and knocking them down all the time. <laughs> Forgive me, I'm, uh, Using Filmora to do this and screencast and it's a bit tricky. But now in this frame, the little dot has grown. Notice it hasn't moved. I haven't noticed it moving at all. It's not lying on the ground, however. You'll see why in a minute. A minute my time, not theirs. So it's 59 seconds and 13. Uh, hundreds or whatever. Well, uh, it, it'll be uh, jiffies, actually. 13 jiffies, 14 jiffies now. So that grew just a tiny bit. Now all of a sudden, we're at 59. Second, 16 jiffies. All of a sudden, we see this humongous bright flash where the epicenter was. It's just out of the blue, a tremendous bright flash. I don't see any sparks. Uh, I can't tell whether that's clearing or not. I don't think it is, but just to be fair, well, I can't tell. But notice how light is coming down. See, if this was lying on the ground, you wouldn't have that effect. And it gets worse from there. Now the flash is much brighter. 
all of a sudden, after several uh, jiffies. A jiffy is one sixtieth of a second. That's a, I'm assuming that's uh, what Fillmore is using. It might be frames. I'd have to look it up. Look up Fillmore's uh, speed. You can see it's far more bright. Now, uh, brightness, intensity of light drops off uh, very sharply as a function of distance. Actually, square of the uh, distance. So, if distance one is two feet, distance two is four feet, light intensity will be Light intensity at four feet would be one quarter that of the original distance well, I'm gonna at two feet. But this is lighting everything up. And it's extremely bright on the camera, and it gets worse, not better. Now we have the same centralized. Area, but the flash or flashes have changed. You can clearly see. I'm not sure that's a fence. I'm thinking it might be for planting little saplings, those plastic tubes. To see them in the places where they're trying to get saplings to grow. But notice you can clearly see that this is not lying on the ground. These are not power lines lying on the ground. This is a point. And now, we're at one minute flat, and the light intensity is starting to grow. It's far too bright to be from power lines, folks. And in Good Morning America, I had some guy on who claimed that there was a big power drop at the same time. But as you can see from the bushes in the foreground, it didn't affect this house. You see, you have these things called substations where the power from the high tension lines and the high voltage lines go, go to get reduced for distribution around the neighborhood. Now well, look at this. Now the intensity grows. We're talking about the tiniest fraction of a second, so I'm not talking about anything uh, slow. But the intensity has grown and it's still clearly well above the ground. And now it's so bright, it's brighter than any lightning flash would be. You know, any lightning strike. And you can clearly see the streets of light on the ground where the trees aren't. And the shadows where the tree, uh, trees are. You would not have that effect if this, this was on the ground. It's not possible. <laughs> Finally... It reaches light intensity so bad, so bright, it's overwhelming the uh, security camera. <laughs> now you can't see anything because the light intensity is so bright that you just can't see nothing. So here we have follow the cursor again. It looks like there's indeed a fire there. Notice all the intensity is very low. Uh, folks, electricity can obviously give off pretty good glare. But if there was somebody welding there, it wouldn't look anything like what we just saw. I believe this to have been an incendiary device. That's my thinking. 
then we're going to go ahead and load one and a bunch of stuff, address zero, communication, blah, blah, blah. But that's about I don't know. Like it's just from the security camera. But this house never loses power. Despite what Good Morning America says, their equipment is still functioning. Obviously so. August 7th, that's... Now I've rewound and take a look at the count here. 2247. Now, oddly enough, the uh, seconds are white. Everything else is black. Okay. So we'll, we'll go to the uh, start of the flash right there. It's still 147. Well, it's still 47 seconds. <laughs> And oddly enough, it went to black. Now we come out the other side, and it's 51. So there's a discrepancy of... This isn't one flash. There's a four-second discrepancy. And again, the text isn't all in black or all in white. It's a mixture. Try to explain that one. So, this actually occurred over four seconds. We'll see, uh, the start of it was, uh, a 2247, what have you. So, we'll see how long it takes in real time. Okay, your market, Phil Morris says, Well, hang on. All right, I'm going to run it through, starting at 45. Could be, be an early, early trigger in that depth. Well, the duration I had was roughly equivalent to what they were saying, except for one thing. Their counter on the security camera jumps four seconds. So... There is a discrepancy there of about four seconds. I'm not believing this stuff, folks. Uh, there's too many discrepancies and problems. Now, if you want to stubborn people and... Yep, yep, yep. You're clapping to you and... Oink, 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 oink! And you believe the media? That's your problem. It's not mine. I'm telling you there's something wrong here. I believe that this is probably an incendiary device of some kind. You just can't prove it. One thing it's not is a power line down on the ground. I'm Artifacts of Mars, and I'm not backing away from that. Thanks for watching. Let's see if we can unravel this mystery.